All right. So hello everyone and welcome to our Go Engineer, another Go Engineer webinar. Um, one thing um, I just want to get right out the get right out the gate is my name is Jordan Kleinschmidt, and one thing you should know about me is that I absolutely love what I get to do here at Go Engineer. Um, I get to help people sort of uncover new solutions and new processes, and it's every bit as empowering to me as it is to them. And I do so through a nifty software tool called DriveWorks. So not only am I going to show you DriveWorks, but I also want to show you how we empower our customers to do more with DriveWorks. The first thing I want to mention is that if you failed at automation before, you should know it's not your fault. There are hundreds of different applications that are going to help you automate, but a lot fall shy of what your true processes are. And most people are led to believe that only well-funded corporations and businesses can afford to pay for efforts toward the same automation, but I'm here today to also shatter those same preconceptions. Automation is for everyone, and especially those who have less time than they can spare. So my goal for this presentation is to encourage you to start your own automation journey by eliminating the noise that surrounds most projects, but for showing you how DriveWorks is that catalyst that ignites your digital transformation. So together, let's go ahead and leave design tables in the dust. By the end of the webinar, I hope you two will want to abandon those in favor of something like DriveWorks. But let me introduce myself just a little bit further. Again, my name is Jordan Kleinschmidt. I live in this great frozen state of Minnesota um, where complaining about the weather is a year-round activity. Um, I've worked for Go Engineer now for coming up on four years, and I do all of the supporting, training, and consulting for SolidWorks and DriveWorks users on designing for automation, CPQ, otherwise known as configure price quote, SolidWorks costing, neutral file translation, and weldments. Um, when I'm not working, I'm keeping my two-year-old alive and entertained with bubbles and trucks, but, um, or in my personal time, I'm playing the Midwesterners, West Westerners favorite of playing disc golf. Um, I'm a self-proclaimed tinkerer, builder, creator, whatever you will. Uh, and I'm just learning to program in uh, Arduino microcontrollers, which is gonna hopefully open up a really exciting path for um, my tinkering. I'm also a woodworker and a connoisseur of the culinary arts in the, and I like, I like to cook and really do anything that I can create with really. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our agenda for today. First, I really want to just make sure that everyone have a, has a good understanding of what DriveWorks is and how it's used for rules-based SolidWorks design. And then I'll spoil our industry secrets for how we successfully implement customer projects by sharing how we plan for projects and how you can too. After, I'll share with you how you can get started with DriveWorks and how the different license types work and what they'll allow you to do. And if you get stuck, uh, we'll make a pit stop and talk about how Go Engineer can help you succeed in your own implementations. And don't worry, the bad driving puns won't stop here. Finally, we'll clear some room for some iSpy Q&A at the end. Throughout the presentation, I'll share with you several false beliefs that a lot of our customers have um, in uh, just for seeing DriveWorks and expose just some of the myths of automation. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Thanks for joining everyone. So before we get started, just want to explain the lay the foundation of let's make sure things are in place. So hopefully if you've taken the time out of your day to attend this webinar, you at least know the basics of what DriveWorks is, but just in case, let's just get you up to par. Most of us know that DriveWorks is a part assembly and drawing automation tool that leverages SolidWorks parametric and fully associative modeling. But did you also know that DriveWorks can also automate documents? In fact, we use it every day to create Word documents and PDFs for our customers, and we don't make a single part. 
in addition to generating models and drawings with DriveWorks Pro, we can also configure uh, our models on any device without needing a SolidWorks license. Uh, sort of work as a guided selling technique for customers and sales reps alike. The core of DriveWorks technology allows us for some pretty interesting projects, but don't just take my word for it. See for yourself by visiting driveworkslive.com. Simply just click to explore uh, the content relevant to you. So if you're still not sure if it's the right fit, uh, there are a ton of different DriveWorks projects also embedded in this web page. So definitely give it a look if you haven't already. So this is all well and good, but I think what's more interesting is about how DriveWorks approached this sort of solution. Now, what I find most interesting about it is that DriveWorks was built by engineers for engineers. So we don't need to be experts in programming to understand and develop the technology. So it's more of an Excel style programming language and has a very minimal learning curve in comparison to other programming languages. Uh, and what this empowers our staff and our customers to do is to kind of embed uh, these this automation technology based on what you know in the processes along your products and your products manufacturing workflow. So if you were to automate any of your workflow today, what would it be? I also want to talk about the three main use cases we see for our customers asking our customers asking for with DriveWorks. One, you can use it like we do as a sales and document configurator. Generate statements of work, quotes, bombs, cover letters, whatever you need to get a professional look and feel when a customer interacts with your business. Two, use it to create simplified sales drawings to communicate with customers what they're getting in the process without releasing intellectual property. Or three, we can use it to create fully detailed automated assemblies complete with manufacturing documentation for the shop floor and the required files for machining, assembling, or completing the sales process. Of course, once you start using DriveWorks yourself, you might also feel compelled to leverage all three of these cases. DriveWorks Solo and Pro allows you to configure sales documents automatically in HTML format, or directly in Word, Excel, or PDF documents. Use it to create simplified versions of your model without releasing sensitive IP data. Or of course, with that fully detailed automated assembly, use it to create, detail, and automate all the manufacturing files and instructions pertaining to your product's life cycle. Needless to say, almost everyone in business, at least the ones with customers, have something to benefit from DriveWorks. And here we have our first false belief. I'm not sure my models are ready for automation. Well, let's talk about that. The best DriveWorks projects in general are repeatable. If we're talking from a CAD modeling standpoint, assembly models that use a lot of equations and the parts and assemblies, configurations, design tables, or via pack and go, these are the types of things that make great rules-based CAD models and make for great DriveWorks projects. They're all similar but different and have some interdependencies, interrelations between uh, the components in a CAD model. So if you're using any of these already, there's already a good chance that your models are rules-based enough to at least start implementing your rules within DriveWorks. To go under the microscope a little bit more, let's take a look at each and understand the limitations of each inside SolidWorks. Equations are, by definition, about as rules-based as it gets. So using the manager, we can store global variables, sort of like inputs that allow us to create dependencies inside of dimensions. But the issue with equations is that improper use can cause unintentionally um, or can kind of unintentionally create circular references 
the UI definitely leaves a lot to be desired, and there really aren't too many functions that can be utilized here. In DriveWorks, you'll have access to over 500 different functions with a rule builder that helps equate your rule logic as you write it. Um, in short, the UI is amazing and has been improved upon significantly over the last two decades of DriveWorks existence. Design tables are great, but they allow us, because they allow us to rapidly create configurations of products, sometimes even using Excel, uh, but too much information in the design table can make for slow rebuild times, excessive file size, and worst of all, we just can't make edits to a part dimension without going through the design table itself. But when DriveWorks runs your project, we're left with the standard SOLIDWORKS model that maintains associati associativity to its drawings. So no, you don't have to go into tables anymore to change a single dimension that we accidentally fat fingered during input or whatever it might be. Hack and go or master modeling um, is really exactly how DriveWorks creates and configures products. And if you're using this method to create your models today, your model is about as close to ready for automation as it can be. So if this method works, then why use DriveWorks? Well, DriveWorks automates the process of that pack and go and then the modifications to the rules. So wouldn't you rather automate the redundant portion of your day and focus more on uh, the more important factors, the things that are more custom and nuanced? And lastly, configurations. Um, well, related to, to design tables, you don't need them to create configurations. We can create those all manually. But if you're using configurations to store your models, you're likely using the same design logic that DriveWorks uses to suppress and unsuppress features or to modify specific dimensions. But you'll run into hard limitations on the usability of configurations if your product offering is highly customizable. Even 10 configurable options on an assembly could easily mean over three and a half million configurable items. Good luck opening that file. So to combat this false belief, if you're unsure your models are ready for automation, if you utilize any of these existing methods, you're already using rules-based design and can improve your likelihood of readiness inside of DriveWorks. Segwaying into false belief number two, while we're in the mode of shattering false beliefs, we might as well smash another. Uh, DriveWorks really does combine the best of all of these tools and allows us to create automated assemblies and documents. So if you believe this false belief, my part is too custom to be configurable. The best part about DriveWorks is that we can leverage the best of all of these tools to make lightweight, efficient, fully featured, fully functional SOLIDWORKS models. Let's take an example, for instance. Say that we spend the majority of our efforts performing some of the most tedious tasks in SOLIDWORKS and broke down the time spent on each via this pie chart. So tedious task one and two might be assembling our model or creating our drawing. Um, and though DriveWorks might not be able to automate everything in your assembly or your drawing, you probably can automate a good portion, which brings me to the 80-20 rule, if you're familiar with that. It's a law of nature that shows itself everywhere if we're looking for it. How it applies to this is that oftentimes 20% of your work makes up 80% of the effort. So 20% of what you output is generally 80% of the effort input, right? And if we were to simply um, get DriveWorks to automate even half of our work via DriveWorks, certainly not you know, all of our work, but at least half of it, that still puts us in a fantastic position for success and for growth, especially with how lean some businesses are running these days. So I ask you, with this time, what could you innovate with this much of your time back? So to crush this preconception, my part is too custom to be configurable. If we combine DriveWorks tools with SOLIDWORKS efficiency, 
we'll be able to see remarkable results, even if it's not 100% automated. The only trick now is just to get started, which leads me to our next stop on our road trip through DriveWorks. Check the map, how to plan your projects. All good projects start with a good plan, and when there are a million ways to do a million things, how do you choose what's most important? Before I begin, I wanna introduce a false belief number three. I don't know where to begin. Uh, and it looks like our road trip ended us in some uncharted territory. We're in the plains of Africa, maybe? Uh, I promise it's just a short detour and it starts just with a mantra that's been passed down in my family for decades. And it starts with, how do you eat an elephant? And ends with, simply one bite at a time. And you've probably heard a similar phrase, there are probably a hundred of them, but the ideology remains true. The best way to accomplish a big task is just to start. And through this lesson, through this section in our webinar, I'm gonna show you how to be successful in just that, starting. And we've all sort of been this duck uh, we, we don't know where to start on a project and we're inundated with stuff continuing to pile up on our desk and we don't improve our processes because we're stuck in this status quo bias, stuck in our same habits. And at the end of the day, you crack open a beer and you say, hey, at least I gave it my best shot. So don't be this duck. Let's take a look at the advantage and the effort of automation next. It's likely a no-brainer why automation sets us up for growth, but if we offload our redundant work to a computer, we can focus on the bigger picture items like coming up with the next innovative pro project or simply just automating more. When we talk to our customers about automation, of course, their concerns are how long does it take to implement? And through the years, we've collected enough data to confirm that the time to automate is typically a three to one, maybe a four to one ratio of approximately. But once we've invested the upfront co time cost to automate versus doing things just the same old way, we can realize up to an 80% efficiency. So our ratio of time to effort is now one to five instead of four to one. And I don't have to show you a chart to explain the benefits of ROI on that number. In fact, most of our customers who implement DriveWorks make their money back in six to nine months. And the secret sauce to making your money back quickly is this minimum viable product. What is minimum viable product, you say? It's simply just a way to sort of cut out the crap and focus on the minimum amount of work that makes a maximum impact on my daily work environment and provide value to me. Let's take a closer look at that. This whole MVP idea stems from an agile project management methodology, which is an adaptive framework where we might not know all the details of what we want yet or how to get there, but we're not gonna let us stop us from progressing. So when we think about a minimum viable product, we might think of things like driving basic dimensions, generating a bill of material accurately, mapping custom property data so that I can get the data card into SolidWorks PDM or generating basic drawings to the important features that are super nice to have, but not a minimum viable product. We're talking about generating a quote, driving a more detailed dimensions to quality of life features, like enhancing the UI, uh, having a 3D interactive preview assist me as I'm making my decisions to additional phases, like emailing the user when a model is ready, when it's passed through its workflow state, or including more product lines, or expansion, where we are focusing on obtaining more product users. Who is using the configurator? Is it internal engineering team only, or maybe we want our sales rep to offload the effort to quote a document or quote an assembly, or maybe we want our customers to do that. and. Uh, empowering customers to make those decisions through an uh, intuitive tool like DriveWorks Pro. And 
once we've established sort of our minimum viable product, we also have to talk a little bit about the secret ingredients that make that up. So here, it starts by describing your user experience. Um, this is so important to do early because it helps us constrain our design to a single optimal method. And it ensures satisfaction with the product when we focus on how we want the user to interact versus what technically needs to happen in order to make that interaction complete. We do so through something called user stories in which we define our tasks and goals. And it works like this. As a user, I want to accomplish some task so I can achieve some goal. And just a few examples of that is, you know, as an admin, I want to get a custom property so that I can read the description and write that to my ERP. And we could really go through that matrix and tell a lot of different stories, a lot of different ways um, by simply adjusting which user, which task, or which goal we are wanting to achieve. Once we've outlined our tasks and our goals, we can determine acceptance criteria. So this is how we know, this is how we know we've succeeded. Uh, these are the more technical details to illustrate what a goal achieved might look like. And it could be something like the range of values or the increment of values, or if there are dependencies on other areas of our component. There are relations that we need to consider, or it could simply just be a phrase. I can easily change the size. This describes an action that makes it feel uh, easy to me and intuitive, which is what we want to grant our users. So for false belief number three, the answer is really in the false belief itself. Just begin and start with minimum viable product for a maximum impact. So finally, we arrive at the height of our demo and with everything in place, we're ready to talk about how you can get started with DriveWorks today even. And before jumping into the license tiers, uh, let's just examine one more false belief you might be thinking. I don't have the capital for the expense of DriveWorks. But you might not already know this. If you have a standard seat of SolidWorks, you too have a version of DriveWorks already available. And you can find it in the Evaluate Command Manager right under DriveWorks Express Wizard. And once activating the command, you'll be prompted to enter in a product code. So be sure to register your SolidWorks seat on mysolidworks.com. Once registered, DriveWorks Express will open the task manager. And don't let these change database options and all that jazz scare you. This is just a folder location. Once you click this button, you just need to give SolidWorks or, Drive, or DriveWorks a file, name, and location, and that's it. Then you can start adding and editing your projects. And we also can run projects directly from this interface as well. Um, projects in DriveWorks are called specifications, and these are your configurable projects that are modular by design. To create a project, the order of operations in doing so is the same, whether we look at Express or at Solo or at Professional. The order of operations in DriveWorks is pretty easy and starts by capturing data. So uh, we want to capture any data that can change. Then we want to build forms that the end user will fill out as our inputs. These are things like overall length, width, depth, color options, just to name a few. Finally, we will write rules to map these inputs into the captured data. And it's as simple as that. Then we run our projects. Express will only take you so far, and so if you wanted to automate more than just your parts, assemblies, and drawings, and would like to create sales documents instead, then you can always scale your Express project into DriveWorks Solo, the next highest tier of DriveWorks. In DriveWorks Solo, we get the added benefit of creating text documentation. We can combine our plethora of functions and with tables to use as lookup references when it comes to design automation too. So these are equations and design tables that we were able to access with Solo. Um, before you jump into the 30-day free trial though, we cannot recommend enough that you talk with me and our sales reps 
uh, here to give you the information and resources you need to be successful in those 30 days. We don't want your trial to go to waste, so please contact us and we'll make sure that you have all the resources and information you need to be successful. Driver Solo comes with an interface that is a little bit more robust than what you get through Express, uh, to say the least. Um, here we can build forms and these forms can responsively adapt based on your input parameters. So I can select material for oak, pine, or poplar, and I can get different uh, images to populate on this form. Uh, and this is just a great guided selling tactic that makes it easy to instantly communicate with the end user which option they have selected. There'd be no room for doubt prior to running the job. And we can, the right rules stage, we can define variables um, and model rules here. And um, we also have an enhanced rule builder with you know, more functions that allows us to cross-reference tables, calculate values based on the inputs as well. As we can see here, the coding required is not super complicated. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but if you've programmed an Excel sheet, you're likely already fairly accustomed to how DriveWorks programming works. Uh, not to mention, there's also built-in tools like the drill down tab uh, that allows me to dissect each function when, when troubleshooting my rules. Of course, another reason to consider Solo is when you start wanting to create sales documentation. Solo can output HTML documentation to create bills, uh, quotes, purchase orders, or bills of material. So again, if you feel like you don't have the capital to cover the expense of DriveWorks, DriveWorks is scalable design, and you can start your automation journey with a budget of even zero dollars. And if you want to go the extra mile, look no further than DriveWorks Pro. See, I still squeezed another driving pun in there. Uh, with DriveWorks Pro, there are actually four separate paid modules that scale as, you, uh, as you're based on your implementation. The first one, DriveWorks Administrator, is likened similarly to Express and Solo. This is where we design the input forms, add design rules, and we can even control user access to see to control who pushes what uh, through a, a specific stage in a manufacturing product workflow. DriveWorks Administrator can not only output HTML documents, but also Word documents, Excel documents, and PDF documents as well, as well as emails, and can create really nice looking images with really minimal learning curve. You don't need to worry about HTML formatting. Um, I think we all have, have learned to use Office products pretty well. Uh, and so applying that knowledge to, to, to DriveWorks here makes it really easy to create beautiful sales documentation. Moving on to DriveWorks user. Uh, DriveWorks user basically allows us a window into the DriveWorks administrator uh, where rules cannot be modified. So these are for generally your sales reps. These are uh, these are uh, five base or five licenses uh, per uh, user, so you have five concurrent licenses that your sales reps or other reps could can use to configure on your network. The successor to DriveWorks User is DriveWorks Live, which doubles the amount of users that can concurrently use a single license type. Um, at the same time. So 10 concurrent users uh, can configure models without tying up any SOLIDWORKS license. Um, not only that, is it's an online sales configurator, so we can access this anytime, anywhere with internet access on really any device as well. So with DriveWorks Pro in com combination with DriveWorks Live, uh, we can control how our forms look and what ratio they are based on whether they're on mobile, tablet, or laptop. And DriveWorks Live communicates with the DriveWorks Pro server to batch jobs to this DriveWorks Autopilot. And what this does is it processes the, the job queue. It's really what we consider our, our headless engineer or engineer in a box uh, that creates all the SOLIDWORKS documents, sales documents, and notifies any constituents via email when a job is ready. 
these four modules make up DriveWorks Pro and can be scaled based on your implementation. But let's go under the needle a little bit more about what differentiates DriveWorks Pro other than just the Word documents and emails. Many customers look to DriveWorks Pro for the interactive 3D previews. So we can have this live 3D preview before even creating a SolidWorks document, which makes it really easy to uh, give the user good feedback of what we're seeing, this guided selling approach of, you know, here's the part, you can click on this part, and we can modify it any way we need to. We can rotate, zoom, and pan on the 3D model as well, and program click macros to produce different behaviors. And although this is very simple in design, the there can be highly realistic render mapping, lots of capabilities for making lucrative professional 3D drawings that you can host on your own website using DriveWorks. Again, you don't need to be a mass you don't need to have a master's in web design to develop this technology. It is all Excel style language uh, that you can go out and see. This project here is available on driveworkslive.com. It's the covered one. Feel free to go through that and, and take a look at what's possible as this is a really good looking sharp 3D preview. Customers who look towards DriveWorks Pro are also interested in integration. We can integrate not only with SOLIDWORKS PDM, but your ERP systems and other PLM systems. And not only can we read data in from those systems, but also send data back into those systems. So uh, integration is a huge push towards this Industry 4.0 uh, reference where we want to you know, share data in between all of our all of our main systems and have a single source of truth. DriveWorks can be that catalyst that allows you to get to connect those two together to connect your ERP with your SOLIDWORKS data. And before I show you the last portion of DriveWorks Pro, I want to talk about false belief number five. DriveWorks can only automate a small portion of my business. Well, that may be true for lower license tiers. DriveWorks Pro allows users to create custom workflows, not unlike PDM, that can vary from super simple to even complex stages of your manufacturing process. In DriveWorks Administrator, I can create groups and users and give them access to the whole workflow or reject access to those who aren't part of the engineering team. For instance, I might want to prevent sales from approving orders, but I'll still want them to be able to check the status of and quote orders without them needing to contact the engineering team. This empowers all members of the team and stakeholders of the manufacturing process to use the same automation that we've built from the ground up using DriveWorks. So if you think that only your engineering team is to benefit from this, Really anyone who performs the same redundant rule-based work can benefit from this tool without needing to know any complicated programming language. Finally, before we wrap up with Q&A, let's make a pit stop and talk about how you can leverage North America's number one DriveWorks reseller and how we can help empower you to make a difference in your organization. And this section addresses our last false belief of it's too hard to learn or I don't have the time to learn it. At Go Engineer, we have several different ways we can help support you through your own DriveWorks road trip. We offer standard training, sharing everything you need to know about the software. In four days, we'll take you through two courses that cover not only the essentials, but advanced functions in DriveWorks Pro as well. DriveWorks Learning is unlike other SOLIDWORKS classes because DriveWorks is really an open sandbox for creating anything you can think of. Uh, so we, almost, we also provide application mentoring, specific development guidance as to how to implement your unique solution. And finally, we also offer implementation services. If you find yourself short on time and long on workload, uh, use our Go Engineer expert consultants to get to your MVP fast 
and start earning that ROI as we help you take your system as far as it needs to go. How does this impact the time it takes to implement? Well, if we decided just to purchase training, the effort to adapt training to self-led learning uh, using you know, DriveWorks Learning Portal um, is about a six to one ratio. Most of our customers uh, by default fall into purchasing both of these. Uh, with application mentoring, you learn from our scar tissue and our wisdom, and we can help you choose the best approach uh, to best the best way to approach your needs specific to your own development process. This is that winning formula that allows us to approximate that four to one ratio. And with implementation service, um, the effort is not on your end but ours, so we can help you realize even quicker gains than before and quick th than previously thought imaginable. So while that one to one ratio is sort of theoretical. Uh, we're doing most of the work for you in establishing that minimum viable product. You'd still get the training and the application mentoring, but you can start your implementation with a strong foundation uh, and pick up where we left off. So whether you believe it's too hard to learn or that there's not enough time to learn it, we got you covered. With Go Engineer DriveWorks services, you can start implementing it in just a few weeks. So as a wrap up, let's just summarize everything we learned. Um, we learned what DriveWorks was, which is a little bit too fast on that, um, where DriveWorks is a part assembly and drawing automation tool, but it can also automate our sales documentation, things like bill of materials, statements of work, and cover letters. Uh, we can configure on any device with DriveWorks Pro without tying up any SolidWorks licenses. So our customers and sales reps and other engineers can have a window in to building the models automatically for us. And if you want to learn more about the DriveWorks technology and projects, visit DriveWorksLive.com. Great projects in DriveWorks, at least from the CAD perspective, not necessarily from the sales documentation perspective, are uh, projects that incorporate design tables or master modeling techniques or configurations or even equations. All of these can be leveraged with DriveWorks tools to uh, create your two uh, custom to configure components. Starting projects can be pretty overwhelming, but when you hone down on your minimum viable product, you can start to implement uh, phases of software development so that you can maximize your ROI early on in the process while worrying about important features and additional phases a little bit later. Capturing data and storing data and workflows in DriveWorks is very easy to replicate. It's a three-step uh, program, if you will, uh, where we can capture data, build forms, and write rules to tie in our form inputs with our captured data. If you hit a wall with Express, other license types are available for DriveWorks. Um, DriveWorks Solo comes with a 30-day free trial. But again, if you're really interested in doing that trial, please contact us. We'll make sure you have all the resources necessary so that you can get started and put your best foot forward. We are definitely here to help. And um, if you hit a wall with Solo or need to integrate with SolidWorks PDM, look no further than DriveWorks Pro, which can help us uh, to create um, even greater scale with our automation journey. And finally, once you have the solution in place, you certainly are empowered to contact us about any services that we might be able to help you uh, perform. Um, these services are um, almost non-negotiable, really, to make sure that your DriveWorks implementation succeeds. And that's all we really want to see you do is succeed. So choose your flavor of, of service, and uh, we can get the ball rolling from there.